Hello guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Teacher Made where everything is made by a teacher. Today I want to talk to you about Brain Pop. Um, there's also Brain Pop Junior but today I want to talk about Brain Pop. Brain Pop is one of my favorite websites to go to because it has a lot of cool videos up here about science, social studies, as you can see, English, math, arts and music, health, engineering, which is a new one they just added because I don't remember seeing that one, and then new and trending up topics. Um, Brain Pop is for children K through 12. You can get on here, pick a topic, and take little quizzes as well as watch videos on here as well. Um, so let's just explore the site. So you have your main characters down at the bottom. And then you have Moby. So let's go into one of the subjects. So today, since today's Earth Day, let's look up some Earth Day activities. And these are just some activities that you can do inside your classroom because it already has activity built into the curriculum. Um, a lot of these curriculums and activities do align with the common core standards that you can use inside your climate, inside your classroom. So here we have climate change, carbon cycle games, the games down at the bottom, and then we have the topics here at the top. So I'm going to click on climate change. So like I said, in each video, we have movie, quiz, make a map, make a movie, creative coding for our students, related reading, vocabulary, graphic organizer, worksheets, and games. So like I said, you just play the video. So like I said, you can play the video for the students. And after I play the video, I usually have my kids take the quiz right after. And the quiz is already built inside the curriculum. And you can pick the review version or the graded version. I usually pick the graded version for my students. Um, the first question, you know, you can read which statistic is most closely related to climate. And you know the students. And then each letter it reads it to you or you can read it to your students i usually have my students read the answer and then divide them up into different groups and then select the answer so we're just going to click any answer and then down at the bottom it tells them you know how many questions they answered and then when we get to the end we're just going to click some answers so I'm just randomly clicking answers right now because at the end, I wanna show you guys what it does for the graded. So on the graded portion, it doesn't tell you right away whether they got the answer or not, but on the review, it immediately tells them where they got the answer right or not. So on the graded portion, as you can see, it tells them how many they got right out of all the 10 questions. And then they can either email their results or print their results. And then after that, I usually have my students go over the vocabulary. This is really good for when I was teaching self-contained. And I use this as my science section in my workshop. I will have my students cre create their own activities based off of the Brain Pop lesson, or they would do their own Brain Pop lesson. I either assigned it to them, or they get to pick, or whatever area of science we were working on that was the area they got to pick on so this is the vocabulary section as you can see it has all the words that were inside of the video and if you were to click on the vocabulary word you know you would just have the student write in the definition um 
as you can see me typing in and then they were just using it in a sentence. And then they would just click next. So when it got time to print that, it would just go ahead and just print off. So this is why I love Brain Pop and they also have games. My students love the games. They get to participate in them. And we're gonna click on a game. So like I said, they have different games, carbon cycle game, different types of games that has to do with the lesson. Here's one on pollution, climate, and extinction. So this is why I love Brain Pops and thank and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.